In the last lecture, you learned that backslash n adds a new line to a string. Now, what I don't like about this approach is that it doesn't allow us to visualize what the output looks like. In other words, if we log message on the console, you can see this is what the output looks like. So on the first line we have, this is my, and on the second line we have first message. But when writing code, our string looks different. Now, if you want to make this string similar to what the output looks like, we have to do something like this. So we break this string into two parts and concatenate them like this. And then we add the second part on a new line. We can also put the first part on a new line. And now this kind of looks similar to what we have in the output. But we still have this backslash n getting in the way, creating some noise in the code. To make the matter worse, if we want to surround first with single quotes, we'll have to escape the single quote character like this. Again, this is very, very ugly. Let's lock this one more time. Very, very ugly and noisy. That's where template literals come in the picture. So, so far you have learned about different kinds of literals in JavaScript. So we have object literals, which are indicated by curly braces. We have Boolean literals, which are true or false. We have string literals, which are indicated by single or double quotes. Now, starting from ES6, we have template literals, which are indicated by the backtick character. This backtick character is the character before number one on your keyboard. So let's see how template literals help us write cleaner code. I'm going to define another constant. But this time, I'm going to use a template literal instead of a string literal. So we add the backtick character. This is my. Now, to add a new line, we don't need backslash n here. We can simply add a line break and then type first message. So we can format our string the way we want it to look like. So now, let's log message and another. See, what we have in code looks very similar to what we have in the output. Now we can also put this on a new line. Now, if you want to surround first with single quotes, we can simply add them here. There is no need to escape them because we have used a different character to define our string. So save the changes one more time, message, another. They look identical, but compare this code with the former code. This is particularly useful if you want to send out email messages in your application. For example, let's say you want to send an email to the user like this. Hi, John. Thank you for joining my mailing list. Regards, Mosh. So we can format our string exactly the way we want it to look like. There is no need for any of these plus or backslash n characters. So let me delete all this stuff. Now, another benefit of using template literals is that here we can add placeholders. So let's say we want to add the name dynamically. With a regular string, we'll have to do something like this. So message, we set it to high. Then we have to concatenate this with some variable or constant. Let me define name here, set it to John. Now we'll have to concatenate this message with name then add a comma, then backslash n. This is really, really ugly. Let me show you a better way. With template literals, we can add a placeholder using a dollar sign and curly braces. Now, inside these curly braces, we add an expression. We can pass the name of a variable or a constant. Now, let's save the changes. Let's take a look at another. You can see we've got John here dynamically. So this is a placeholder for our name constant. Now here we can add any kind of expression. We can also add a simple mathematical expression like this. Let's log this one more time. So, hi John, fine. So technically we can add any expression that produces a value in between the curly braces. We can also call a function that returns a value and that's perfectly valid. So these are the benefits of using template literals. Hi guys, thank you for watching my JavaScript tutorial. 
This tutorial is part of my JavaScript course where you will learn all the essential JavaScript features that every web and mobile application developer must know. If you're an absolute beginner or have some experience in JavaScript and are looking for a fun and in-depth course that teaches you the fundamentals of JavaScript, this course is for you. This course is also packed with tons of exercises that help you master what you learned in the course. In fact, many of these exercises are questions that come up in technical programming interviews. So if you're pursuing a job as a front-end or a back-end developer, or if you simply want to have a more in-depth understanding of JavaScript, I highly encourage you to enroll in the course. For a limited time, you can get this course with a discount using the link in the video description. Click the link to find out more about the course and enroll.